Thank you for uh, accepting my invitation for Black Lives Matter episode two. So you know that I am a fan of you, and now I am asking you to for an invitation for Black Lives Matter episode yes. two. I am so surprised and pleased to have you. Yeah, thank you, thank you for all your support. No problem. I'm I'm glad that you're hosting. Thank you for asking me. It's it's an honor. Well, how are you doing now? I mean, in this time of pandemic. Oh well, it's pretty weird. I mean, um, I- I'm doing okay. Luckily, my family is is doing well. But yeah, it's you got to be very safe, and a lot there are a lot of things that you can't do. But you know, 
thankfully I'm okay. And, you know, a, a lot of people in the U.S. aren't right now, so I'm just hoping that they'll be okay eventually and hoping that we can eventually stop the spread of the virus. How about in India? What is it like? In India, it's okay, but still the COVID-19 cases is increasing day by day. So only till today, phase two has been unlocked that only right, we can go yeah. out and buy something, if anything essential for us. But oh, still, really? colleges and schools are not opened. So I'm waiting for okay. it. Okay. When to open it. Not, not opened? Yeah. It, it's like that here too, basically. Wow. Oh. Well, I hope that you guys can get it under control there too. So how was the idea for you starting the career as a musician? I mean, I read in your post that from high school, you started oh, um, a musician and joined Oren. Yeah. Yeah, so we were like best friends from high school. So we were just, you know, friends and we both liked music, but we, we weren't doing it together. We were just, you know, friends. And then eventually, you know, we were deciding to like, we, we just thought about it. We were talk, we always talked about what if we like did it together? What if we made something and what, what would it look like? And then all high school, we talked about it. And then eventually in the last, in our last year, we decided to do it, which was great. I'm really happy we did, but yeah. So that's kind of how it worked and it's interesting, but I'm actually really liking starting, starting out doing this thing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Well, you have um, started the new music. I mean, just another memory, the new music which I've heard. Uh, it has hit 50K. Uh, so how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm really excited. It's amazing. I mean, I used to be like, I used to dream about hitting 1K. Um, so seeing those kind of numbers is amazing. I, it's really cool to see that and see people supporting us. And joy, obviously. Joy is the best. Well, so what is your first experience in music? I mean, how did you start it? When did you first sing? Um, yeah, I, I, played, I started playing guitar when I was um, eight or so. And I did lessons. And the first couple of years, I, I didn't like it. But then eventually, I, I got an electric guitar. And I started playing rock. And I was like, oh, this is great. I love this. Um, and then I got really into it. And then when I was about 12 or 13, I downloaded um, FL Studio and I started to make music on my computer, which is like what I do now. And I, and then Oren, Oren is, he plays all the guitar on our songs. And we also produce the songs together. So he's getting really into music production on his laptop as well. So we like, we'll do that together and we'll come up with, um, melodies and chords and just build a whole song around them. So what will be your future plans? I mean, as a musician and a singer and also a producer. Ah, um, my plans. Well, next year I'm, I'm studying um, music business. So I'll learn about like the industry side, hopefully, and a lot about that. And then my plans are just to work more with Oren, you know, on just sidekicks on our duo and release some more songs, find new artists to work with as we both study in university and learn about the business side of how it works and, you know, marketing and management and all that stuff. And then hopefully continue to grow throughout school. And then after school, you know, after university, uh, maybe hopefully make it a career where we can uh, be making money from it and touring and, you know, maybe even being on the radio or that kind of thing. So that's my, that's my goal, my plan. So will there be an on-stage performance in all over the world, the band name, Just Sidekicks? I, that, that would be incredible. I, I, I mean, that's, that's our dream. So hopefully someday. You have come across at the age of um, when you were singing. I mean, you thought the music will be my passion. Sorry? You thought that music will be your passion oh. in the age of um, your childhood? Oh, uh, honestly, it was it was more recently, more like maybe in the past year or two when I've been making it on my, when I've been producing music on my laptop. That's that's what I've really loved to do the most. That's where my, that's where my passion lies. So um, 
I'm hoping that I can keep doing that and then other things will follow, like maybe playing live or, you know, and touring or uh, that kind of thing. But I, that's what, that's my passion. I think just making new songs on my laptop, you know, producing. And I didn't, I probably, I probably knew about a year ago or so. So who is your inspiration to start music as your career? I mean, the inspirational power. Mm. Um, my favorite producer is Benny Blanco. He's a, a big pop producer. Uh, he's actually from right around here where I'm from. Um, and I think he's, I just, I love, I love his songs. I love what he's done. And I thought he was really inspirational and his story was, was so, um, he's my biggest influence probably. Yeah. So we have made any musician and singers in on the on stage performance. Oh, well, I mean, Orin and I would love to play with Joy because she's, she's amazing. Her voice is so beautiful and she's a really a great artist. So that's, that's one person we'd love to play with someday. So how did you meet up with um, Joy Kate, the music which you have been released recently, just another memory? I mean, it's so awesome. The music yeah. beats and the song, really. It's really, and, really. Yeah, Joy... Thanks. Uh, Joy is going to my university. Um, so I found her on, on Instagram and like a, on a post for the school. She was, she was there. She was like saying, hi, I'm Joy. I'm going to school here. You know, th I'm an artist. And I was like, oh, she's an artist. No way. And Orin and I checked her page out and we we're like, oh, she's great. We, we, we got to ask her. So we asked her thinking she wouldn't respond even, but she did. And she was really great. So that's how I came together. Any new updates on songs you have been releasing? Yeah, we got three more coming over. Like, we're going to do one in September, one October, one November, and then more later. But that's our plan right now, those three. So the pandemic is yeah. still going on and all over the world. So how do you feel about this year? I mean, there is still this coronavirus pandemic. About, well, I mean, obviously, uh, it's made, it's ruined a lot of things. Like it's going to be different going to school, to going to, you know, university or, uh, it's going to be different. You know, a lot of things are going to be online and we have to be very careful, which is good. I mean, I like people to be careful. I, I want them to be careful, but of course I'd rather have no pandemic, but, um, really it changed a lot of things. Um, I hope that the U S gets it under wraps more and knows how to deal with it better because it hasn't done a good job in the past. Um, but the, the only good thing is that uh, if it wasn't for the quarantine, Orin and I might not have started just sidekick. So that's so because we, we wanted to be productive and we were like, let's do this. So we did it. And uh, and I'm, I'm glad we did. But otherwise, it's it's obviously it sucks, you know. Well, besides music, what are your other hobbies? What are you doing at a time besides doing music? Um, well, I. I'll be studying, you know, for school. Uh, I'll be with my family and maybe friends at university, hopefully. Uh, watching TV and stuff, you know, <laughs> pretty normal. So your favorite yeah. um, movie or series? Oh, that's tough. Um, my favorite series, I like uh, this show called The Office. I like that one a lot. And movie? I don't know. Um, I don't have a favorite movie, but I think my favorite genre is comedy. I like comedy movies. Yeah. I mean, after finishing your school and um, college, you will be doing the on stage performance. Hopefully, uh, you know, if if the coronavirus pandemic uh, is you know is more resolved and places are open to play music then yeah i'd love to yeah so will you come to india yeah. to do the on stage performance how do you feel about that coming to india i uh, i've i've always wanted to go to india so hopefully someday but you know even if it isn't a performance i'd love to visit the country someday and, and you know yeah I, I india seems seems amazing to to see and i'd love to see you know uh, of course like you know meet people there, maybe meet you or like, you know, uh, just see, under, see the culture and 
learn about the way, you know, the way the life is there in different parts. So, yeah, that would be great. Then I should probably get a ticket to see you on stage performance in India in the coming future before the ticket gets over. <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, we, we would definitely, and that'd be amazing. A tour some in India. Wow. Um, how, how about you? Uh, do you, uh, do you want to be like an interviewer or like a journalist? Seems like you, you like doing that. But what, what do you want to do? Do you know? Sorry, if, if you don't, if you know. Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, will you repeat it? Oh, hello? Hello, uh, I can hear you now. Uh, can you hear what me? were you saying there? Okay. Oh, I was going to say, um, do you want to be like a, a journalist or a, an interviewer? Like, do, do you know what you want to do? Well, that's a good strange question. I mean, I'm pursuing studies about science. I mean, my dream is to become a doctor. Oh, okay. So beside that, I'm also trying this um, other hobby. I mean, creating awareness among people about the nature, about the people in the world, and also introducing myself to some of oh. them in the world. That will be pretty sure that I should yeah. pursue my studies well, as a that's science great. student. Yeah, keep, keep it up. That, that's that's amazing you know of course good, good luck with your, all your studies and becoming a doctor that's a really great thing you know you know gonna help a lot of people and then of course this is a this is a cool series too it's cool that you're doing this so yeah thank you thank you very much i mean the good work due to pandemic uh, the colleges are still not open and that i don't know when the academic will start I'm really worried about it. I mean, there are lots of changes going yeah. on in educational institutions that they're saying that they will change the academic sessions um, into combining it that we have to go through the class 12 and then we have to come back uh, and write one exam and then you will be getting the admission to the medical college. And they're still postponing the mm -hmm. exams of uh, medical mm -hmm. exams, but I don't think so. I'm so worried that I don't want them and us to be really? combined. I mean, they are senior and we are junior. How can it be? Oh, yeah. So I'm well, I hope that, you know, of course, yeah, the pandemic has changed a lot. I, I hope that it can work for you and that you can get it figured out. I'm sure you will eventually, but hopefully soon. Thank you. I mean, I was really feeling nervous talking to you. I mean, I'm a fan of you, but it's, it's, nervous. this is really strange for me, but I'm feeling now also my heartbeat is pounding faster that I'm talking to you. This is the <laughs> first time I'm talking to a great musician. Wow. Wow. That, that, that means a lot. I mean, it's, the, the funny thing is that right now, Oren and I, we have maybe one or two fans and you're one of them. So, <laughs> I mean, it's great to... It's, it's, it's really cool to talk to you as well. Like it's, you know, it goes both ways. But that, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> so is this your house? I mean, it's really nice to see you in your house. I mean, um, thank you. those posters, I've never seen that. Uh, I mean, they, are they rappers? Yeah, these are, yep. This is Migos. It's a big rap group, and this is NWA. They they kind of started like, uh, they they made rap a lot more mainstream in the U.S. So both, good really good groups. And then here, I got the Chainsmokers. It's a yeah. duo I, I, mean, I like a lot. You, know, you probably know them. Fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I'm also a Chainsmoker yeah. fan. I absolutely yeah, that the song Closer. Till today, I mm -hmm. love that song Closer. Yeah, no, they're they're great, but um, they're actually I think Orin and probably Orin and my bigger biggest inspiration for our duo. But yeah, this is my room, just pretty normal. And also, you're a football yeah. fan, I think. So we have hung down that uh, Germany flag. Yeah, I, I used to live in Germany actually, so uh, big big football fan. Uh, who is your favorite player yeah. in Germany? In Germany, uh, that's tough. I think um, probably I, I like I like um, Thomas Müller. He was the striker on their team, number seven, I think. Oh. Thomas Müller, yeah, he was a good player. I like him.